Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the second day of 3D Experience World 2022. I know I did. Today was all about utilizing cutting edge tools to imagine better products, team collaboration, and ultimately, end user experiences. Seeing how people in different industries are turning their ideas into realities has been thrilling. So let's take a look at our day two highlights as well as a preview of what's coming up next. In day two's general session, Florence, Manish, and the SolidWorks R&D team showcased customers ExoVolar, NASCA Robotics, and SmartFlyer. These three companies have propelled their businesses forward by using 3D Experience Works technologies to bring ideas from concept to reality. The team also gave us a sneak at some of the new roles and features coming soon. Brian Zayas provided another example of customers succeeding with 3D Experience Works with his interview of longtime SolidWorks customer Stark Systems. Their renewable, modular wall systems were in high demand during the pandemic. So they discussed how they were able to scale to meet customer needs by moving to the cloud. We also took a deep dive into the joys and challenges of serving a diverse set of customers with a panel led by Jordan Tadich. Jason Pohl, Lee Christie, Mark McCulley, and Jesse Hahn talked to Jordan about how SolidWorks helps them to deliver exceptional customer experiences. It was energetic, it was fun, and it was informative. General session replays will be available by 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and they will be added to the virtual event platform each day for you to watch on demand. One of the big announcements at last year's event was 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers. Today, Manish announced new features coming soon to help better address the needs of this growing community. We also added some moxie to our maker offerings with a new section to the 3D Experience Playground. At the Maker Zone, I had a chance to learn about some of our incredible makers and programs. I met Kate Reed, artist in residence at the 3D Experience Lab, who creates biomimetic wearables, high fashion 3D printed designs inspired by nature. And Kate, I'm gonna DM you my sizes. Are there any Star Wars fans out there? Then you have got to see the Open R2 project. This group of makers takes a replica of R2-D2 as inspiration and transforms the 1970s hardware into a DIY fully autonomous robot. I learned how to get involved with Makers for Good Make-A-Ton. This creative innovation marathon for makers is working on impact-driven product prototypes who want to take them to the next level. And I am always inspired by the Magic Wheelchair costume builds. SolidWorks partnered with Magic Wheelchair, a nonprofit that brings together build teams and kiddos in wheelchairs to make magical experiences and epic costumes. And if you haven't seen it, please check out the Princess Freya reveal. It is beautiful. You can see the collaborative project with MIT's Center for Bits and Atoms, designed to streamline manufacturing workflows in a standard digital fabrication lab. And last but not least, Jonathan Hopkins, professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering at UCLA, is leading a course, Introducing Flexible Machines, Compliant Mechanism Design. You can check it out in the overview. You'll find all of this in the Maker Zone, which is only one of the amazing spaces in the 3D Experience Playground. So now let's head over to the shop floor. Each day on SolidWorks Live from 1 to 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will go to a video feed direct from the shop floor in Charlotte, North Carolina. We are excited to stream to you live from our partners, Ellison Technologies and Doosan, to see how a real shop floor operates. Yesterday, we explored 3D Lean. Today, we learned about shop management solutions in the cloud, and tomorrow, we will focus on robotics. I tuned in and learned about two production machines from Doosan Machine Tools. It is amazing to see the speed at which parts can be made through traditional subtractive manufacturing processes. You won't want to miss this discussion on how CNC programming virtual machines can save time and money well before you make a physical part. There are also two stations for robotics. Check out the live stream to learn how industrial robots are being programmed and trained. Plus, there will be an exciting presentation on day three with a Doosan Cobot to show how everyone can start automating their manufacturing processes. Now, the last area of focus on the shop floor is communication. Any company looking to automate has to have constant and clear communication between all their teams. 
Tune in to see how our teams are improving communication and collaboration using touchscreens in the shop area. Two new sessions will be added to the virtual event platform each day. So make sure to check out the shop floor area of the 3D Experience Playground for replays. And speaking of replays, you might want to watch today's episode of Don't Miss This Demo. We followed Mark and Michael as they boarded the plane to Atlanta before finding out that 3D Experience World would become virtual. But it seems like nothing can stop Michael's continued video obsessions, and now Mark is hooked too. They enjoyed the sounds of the shop floor and seeing manufacturing roles in action, discovering more of the magic found in the SOLIDWORKS cloud design apps, and virtually testing parts to ultimate failure. CAD influencers revised that, and Grant Cadone showed us how the 3D Experience platform changed the way they do business. But did Mark and Michael procrastinate for too long? The technology preview is tomorrow. Will they be ready? Be sure to watch the next episode of Don't Miss This Demo to find out. Well, have you been enjoying the breakout sessions at 3D Experience World? There were 72 on day two alone. And if you couldn't watch all 72 in one day, don't worry. You can catch the replays on the virtual event platform. All sessions will be available within 48 hours of the broadcast time. Or you can rewatch your favorites. There's the Delmia Works keynote session with Jean Paul Abbasi, Sherry Williams, and other members of the Delmia Works leadership team. How a toy designer uses SOLIDWORKS, a walkthrough from design to product with product designer Jade Wilson. Or you can learn how to take SOLIDWORKS to the next level thanks to 3D Experience Platform and many, many more. Day two was full of connections for our virtual attendees. Our day two meetups today offer great opportunities to connect with the people more directly. There was the SOLIDWORKS desktop meetup discussion where key members of the SOLIDWORKS R&D product definition and product management discussed recent enhancements and the evolution of SOLIDWORKS desktop. The 3D Experience Lab hosted How to Make Things Worth Making, where Frederick Vache sat down with Tony Fidel for a fascinating fireside chat. They discussed design, innovation, circular design, Tony's upcoming book, and how to make things worth making for a better, sustainable tomorrow. Tony doesn't follow the Silicon Valley credo that you have to reinvent everything from scratch to make something great. It was really interesting, so if you haven't seen it, be sure to catch the replay. And we can't talk about meetups without talking about the way this community, well, meets up. A big part of the community is the SOLIDWORKS user group network. Swagin is run for our users by our users. Its mission is to empower real people who use SOLIDWORKS products to collaborate with, learn from, and teach others. It is the heartbeat of a machine that is Swagin. Some of our user group leaders have been using SOLIDWORKS for over 25 years. Here to fill us in about this year's Swagin Summit is a SOLIDWORKS user group network manager, Dan Wagner. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Dan. Thanks so much for being here. So you have some exciting things to share with us about Swagin. I do, yeah. So yesterday was the annual Swagin Summit at 3D Experience World. This is an event where we gather all the user group leaders and user group members who are attending 3D Experience World, gather them all together, recap the year, you know, talk about all the incredible things that happened in the previous year, and we give out the Swagin Choice Awards. So, I mean, a lot of things happened in 2021, and, and in this case, it's a chance for us to get together, celebrate those things, celebrate those people, really, and, and just have a good time. That's fantastic. Now, I know you've given out some awards, but you still have some yet to give out. Is that true? That's true, yeah. yeah. So we gave out five uh, yesterday. And, and for example, we gave out the Meetup of the Year Award. And in 2021, we held Slug Me 6, which was the SOLIDWORKS longest and largest user group meeting ever. It was 24 hours. Uh, we broadcasted the whole time. We had presentations from amazing SOLIDWORKS users around the world. That was an easy choice for Meetup of the Year. Uh, and yeah, and I'm happy to say we have two very special awards reserved for tomorrow. This is the Michelle Pillars Community Award and the Wayne Tiffany User Group Leader of the Year Award. We're going to hear those live tomorrow. Myself and Sucha are going to be on general session tomorrow. Fantastic. Well, I will see you then. And I look forward to finding out who receives those very special awards. Yep. Thanks so much, Ann. Thank you. Awesome. Do you want to connect with people post breakout session? Have a question about 3D Experience World? Check out our dedicated 3D Experience World communities. You can find them under the Communities tab on the event platform. If you find you are in need of assistance with the virtual event platform, there's a 3D Experience World support hub. 
It's a spot to go to get all your questions answered and support any issues you may have. And there's the Breakout Sessions Q&A community. This community was created to support breakout sessions, attendees, and presenters. It's the place where all 3D Experience World attendees are welcome to learn, engage, and share knowledge. And there you have it. Those were some of the highlights of day two 3D Experience World 2022. Be sure to join us again tomorrow for our final day. Excitement awaits, and I'll see you then.